Well, let's have a look about the mesh tool now. In yellow here, it's um, all about, you know, the display edges. The first two ones are for soft angle or harden edges. And with this one, the third one is to select hard edge. You have to select object first, then you click and you select hard edge. But where Modit is smarter than all the other uh, hard edge selection you can get, it's that it really thinks in detail for modeling workflow. If I select my object, I select hard edge, it will only select hard edge, but not the border one like you will have on other scripts. Okay, so it will only keep you the hard edge because you don't want to have this selected too. And to finish, on right click here, you can set a preset smooth angle. Pink icons are for symmetry. It's a smart intelligent symmetry, which means it will be able to know on which side you want to symmetrize. For example, here, if I did a modification on this side, I want to symmetrize on X axis. You can right click or set the default simple click here. You can go to uh, setting and set it here. So mine is set to X axis. So I just click here and it will symmetrize on the other side. Okay, great. Now, for example, if I set my pivot here, that means I want to symmetrize on this side. So if I click, it will. But now if I want to symmetrize on the other side, for example, I put it here, it will automatically know which size to symmetrize. And that also works on local mode. If I set it here, it will automatically understand that. Okay. After it just to you to choose the right axis if you want on Y axis. Okay. And as you can see, it's also based on the mirror algorithm. So it's pretty powerful because it will automatically uh, split and merge the mesh if, uh, if needed in a clean way. So pretty simple, but uh, pretty powerful. Then what we have after the split here, it's for flip. This one will merge as a symmetry on the same mesh. But this one, as you can see, two color because it's not a symmetry, it's a flip. I want to flip. This one is to flip based on grid. Okay, so same thing on X axis. I just click, it's a flip. And this one is to flip based on pivot position. Let's test that on a more complex mesh. You see I'm not based on grid space. Just verify your center is well aligned. Set your pivot and just hit and it will symmetrize perfectly. If for example, I set it here on the middle, it will create a cut here and split at this. So here in Z axis, you see, and it's a clean split without any problem. Same here, if you go and say, okay, a bit like that. Blue icons are for mesh editing. Here you have a combine, separate, duplicate face and extract face. It's the one from Maya, but improved, of course. On Maya, if I select two mesh, for example, and I combine them, look at the outliner. It keep the history, which can be great, but when you're modeling, you, no one uses that. And you have a bad scene. History, it's more complicated, more AV for Maya. Uh, even if I select that and now I perform a separate, it will add more. In a group, you have transform uh, everywhere. It's kind of complicated just to separate two mesh. With Modit, you combine, you combine in one mesh that keep the name of the first selected one and with center pivot, clean history, everything is fine. Same, you can separate, you have now two mesh. And 
as you can understand it's the same thing for duplicated face you automatically have the duplication selected for you all is set for you all is clean same thing if i extract directly and you keep uh, a clean outliner I'm happy to introduce you now to exclusive tools from Modit, which are two Bevel tools. So the first one, it's uh, what I called um, variable Bevels, which means you select, you should select one edge. If you select more, you will have a pop-up warning that will say you, you should select one edge only. Okay, that will help you to follow the right rules for tool. So, okay, one edge. When you click, you have the pop-up menu and now as you can understand you can have variable bevel which is really really powerful and a, a big gain of time unfortunately it's impossible to set the segment on this tool okay because of maya is you know history in maya are pretty complicated and uh, it's destructive on, on vertex id so i can't do that but it's already pretty great and yes if you want to remove you just have to remove after if you want to add you can add let's say manually you select and you have this tool for edge flow that will fix okay the edge flow and you can add if you want this way and that also works if you have this okay on this kind of topology please uh, be careful when you use this tool it's uh, really complicated uh, in terms of scripting and if you don't use correctly that can destroy your mesh so before to use it i advise you to save your works and for example don't use it on um, this kind of shape on of open shape because if i do it here that will crash uh, my mesh so if you want to use it in this case for example just be smart and yes let's say do something like that you add some thickness and now if i want to use it here i can that will work you do your stuff close select okay and here it is for me then the second bevels is vertex bevel as its name said in maya if you select a vertex you can't bevel it that will do this which is not what you're looking for at all i wrote i wrote i write this vertex bevel tool just select your vertex and it works only on um, drag and drop with middle mouse button for the offset you right click and you have the segment you can switch back you can also use shift middle mouse button click to go to the segment and when you release you have the radius that also works great on multiple vertex I hope you will enjoy uh, this tool.